for staying with us. The Blowing Rock Art and History Museum is kicking off their annual festival today. It is called Plain Air and it'll feature the work of more than 100 artists. To tell us more, let's welcome Jennifer Garonzik. She's joining us live. She's the Education Center Director for the museum. Great to have you with us. Great to be here. Thank you. You're very welcome. So Jennifer, first tell us the title of this. It, you know, it's spelled P-L-E-I-N, but pronounced plain air. Tell us what this title means and how it relates to the festival. Sure. Well, the term plain air is a French term, and it was basically brought about by the Impressionists, such as Claude Monet, and it just means painting outdoors from life. So we have a festival, this is our sixth year here with the Blowing Rock Plain Air Festival, and we invite artists from all over to come paint outdoors in our beautiful settings here in Blowing Rock. Ah, and are they painting what they see or are they creating it from scratch? Uh, well, for the most part, they are supposed to paint what's in front of them. Okay. Um, you know, but they're not computers or photographers, they are artists. So there's always room for interpretation and personal style, things like that. Um, they can choose from landscapes. You know, we have the Blue Ridge Parkway right here with some wonderful long range views, some lovely lakes like Price, Bass Lake, and then the quaint architecture of Blowing Rock itself. We've had artists paint the engine at Tweetsie Railroad and the views from the Blowing Rock as well. Oh, I'm sure it's just beautiful. And people can actually witness this live, right? If they attend the festival? Um, well, we will have artists starting today. Uh, Check-in is at 1 p.m. for artists. And after that, when the artists check in, we stamp their canvas to make sure that they're creating this art this week. Um, they haven't started this back in the studio or worked on it at home in advance. And once they've checked in, they can go anywhere in our area and paint outdoors. So I can't pinpoint places where you might see an artist, but I will say Main Street Blowing Rock will probably be a big spot mm -hmm. as well as some of the more popular overlooks in the area on the parkway. Thunder Hill Overlook, Ravens Rock, Yadkin Valley Overlook, as well as Bass Lake, Chitola Resort. And um, uh, there's a few artists that hike some of our wonderful trails and get really far out there to create their works. Wow, and tell us about the wet paint sale and how people can participate in this. Okay, so artists have about three or four days to complete artworks. They can submit up to two for the wet paint sale. So Saturday morning, beginning at 11 a.m., the public is invited to view the paintings submitted by all these artists. Okay. We'll have them here at Alexander Community Gallery, and they will all be available for sale. Um, it is first come, first serve, and we do ask everyone to reserve their viewing times or their tickets for the wet paint sale on our website, blowingrockmuseum.org. Well, Jennifer, you mentioned this is the sixth year, right? So. How have you kind of seen this grow and evolve and what do you love most about being able to, you know, put this on for our beautiful community that we have, you know, just nature everywhere we look? Um, well, for me, some of the most exciting things are this afternoon when the artists check in, how excited they are to start. Um, and then when they bring all their artwork in Friday evening, the excitement and the relief that they feel submitting their art and just seeing the variety of work that comes in. We um, will have artists working in a lot of different mediums, oil paint, acrylic, um, pastel, charcoal, watercolor. We've even had one fiber artist that embroidered her painting as she went. Wow, oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. So the variety too is something that people will really notice in this artwork. Yes, and this is an open enrollment festival. You don't need to be a professional with years and years of experience to participate. That's one of the things we love about this festival. It brings more artists from the community into Brahm, our museum here, um, and just shows them all the beauty of this area. But so there will be art from kind of hobby artists, but also professionals. 
And because of that, the budget for purchasing a price could be anywhere from 100 to $3,000. So there's something for everyone. Oh, wonderful. I'm so glad you mentioned that. Jennifer, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate it and we hope for a successful weekend and week long event. Once again, the information on the screen for everyone at home, the Blowing Rock Plain Air Festival is starting today. It'll go through Saturday when you can take advantage of the wet paint sale. The museum is located in downtown on Guinea Stevens Lane. To learn more, just visit blowingrockmuseum.org.